glad he's finally going to jail. I saw him, I recognized his accent. I was like, <laughs> like you mother. So you're lucky I wasn't here when it's like, let's go. Time to go. Go somewhere else. Okay, it's time to go. No, it's time to go. Where? Huh? You're in the street. Go. Go somewhere else. You're in the street, too. Yes, I'm doing my job. Go I'm somewhere doing my else. my job, too. Police officers were racing across town to provide emergency backup. At the end of the night, only a single person would be brought to jail. The man who was filming the police. Federal case law confirmed that filming the police is a constitutional right, but cops and prosecutors treat citizen journalists as the worst capital criminals in town. Why are you taking pictures? What? Why are so you why? taking pictures? He's taking pictures of other people's vehicles and license plates. Okay. You're coming up here taking photos uh, of pictures? Yeah. You need to leave now. I'm not leaving anywhere. Leave. I'm go. not leaving anywhere. You need to I'm go. I'm not leaving anywhere. Come on. Yeah. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to get out of the roadway. I'm good. Okay. You're not my dad. I'm going to ask you one more time to get out of the roadway. Then we're about to go to jail. Why would I have to get out of the roadway? You're standing in a roadway. I'm in a... One giant step back. Two giants said that. Why are you detaining me? I didn't get out of the roadway. You stood. I, I stepped back. I did not stay in the roadway. I stepped right there. I stepped right there. Guys, they're saying I'm interfering with my, their stop at this point. Put it down. Turn around. Put it down. Turn around. I'm not resisting. Put your camera down. Turn around. I'm not resisting. You do, I do not consent to any searches or seizures of my property. Do your job. I'm not in your space. Yeah, back up, man, all right? I'm on the public sidewalk. Right. Who's your supervisor? Not here today. Yeah, he is. We can get Call him. him. Call him. Your pockets. Call him. Take Call your, your supervisor your right now. Dude, down. Get, get the fuck off me, bitch! Get the fuck off me, motherfucker! I have her permission to stay. It is for safety. Sir, you cannot fill my client up. So is everyone leaving or just me? Across the street. Everyone or just Five, me? Four. Oh, yeah, three, you're gonna be like that? Two. One. Come here. Crazy. Thank you. You're interfering with my job. You're making my job a lot harder than it needs to be. These cops risked the lives of motorists and pedestrians to speed over to this huddle. But it's all right because it was done for officer safety. It's a hard job. They are obviously very busy. Police officers often complain that I don't tell their side of the story. So before I show the rest body camera, Let's change it up a bit and first appreciate the perspective of the police. Hey, what's up with that dude? That dude's a um, sovereign citizen fucking... The black dude is? Yeah. Oh, oh that's why he's acting like that. Yeah. Okay. You can't go in my pockets. You can't do this. I know my rights. He's one of those. He showed up one time. Gary Williams had a car run from him. A stolen car. Uh -huh. Up, had a car run from him and uh, high center itself on a telephone pole. Oh, okay. And uh, is he, Gary is he, Williams pursued it. He's 12 or he's just standing off the side. Oh, okay. And the dude showed up and started recording and he's like, I don't see any crime scene tape. I can walk wherever I want and me and Velasquez is about to slow down with him. We're like, no, you can't. You can go stand over there or you can go to jail for interference because I got to worry about you walking in and messing up the crime scene and he's like, I know my rights. I know what I can do and we're just like, whatever, dude. And he stood right where he was. He's just trying to, he's one of those that records and tries to get a reaction. I'm glad he's finally going to jail. I saw him, I recognized his accent. I was like, fuck her. <laughs> like, you motherfucker. So yeah, you're lucky I wasn't here when he's I He's like, let's see how far the sovereignty gets you. <laughs> nah, he was just being stupid and over here. He always is. Yeah. I mean, I heard him, you can't go in my pockets, you can't go in my pockets. Like, okay. What's up, baby? What's up? What's going on? Oh, too bad, brother. Too bad. Was, was, was he just being stupid with y'all when you were dealing with this dude? Yeah, so when, when I grabbed that dude that I had, this dude came out of nowhere. He's like, you can't do that. You can't do that. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I was by myself, so I was like, well, fuck me. <laughs> So I was like, eh, whatever, like, <laughs> just stop the phone out of his head. He's like, hey, what are you doing to him? Well, he kept sitting in the damn middle of the street and gonna get run over and all kinds yeah. of things, so. And then he started talking shit. Did he really? Yeah. He said, you can't fucking tell me what to do. He's like, I got my fucking own two eyes. 
was like, okay. I want two eyes about to see that inside of myself. <laughs> Did you see the good cop who honored his oath to uphold the Constitution? Neither did I. The people are the enemy of the police. Team Blue demonstrates a confusing mix of condescending vilification and joyful bliss when they score another win by stomping on a taxpayer. The cops were complaining about a years old video. Let's consider the police perspective about people who film from far away on the open public sidewalk. Okay, Just keep the inside our units, okay? Right. You see how all these units are right here? This is the crime scene right here. So you yeah, need to back up like my partner said. This, if you get any closer, you're going to jail, okay? That's it. Extract me with what? Okay, arrest me now. No, no, arrest me. Arrest me. That's what I thought. Arrest me. That is the sidewalk closed? If you jaywalk again, you'll go to jail. It's a side, I, I cannot jaywalk if, it's, if the street is closed. Move over there. It's for what? your safety now. Move. What's your name? And it's Ortiz. You already know me. Move over there. I know you. Yeah, you already complained on me. Move over there. I, look. I, I, you got to keep moving. Move. Hold. You can go behind her. Move over there. Okay. Okay. Now, you. what were you saying? That okay. She no, 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 okay. No, 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 all right. This is our scene. This is our traffic scene. I'm telling you to move okay. over there. It was cute how their fake reasons to unlawfully exclude him kept evolving. A car going up a pole was a noteworthy incident to document. I am from St. Lucia, but I was originally born in Ghana. Hayford Aussie is a government employee with a graduate level education. When he sees cops in public, he records their official activities and publishes the videos on his YouTube channel and balance status. I saw a police officer in the bar uh, when they turned the light on, indicating that they're about to close. So I saw a police officer and like I do all the time, I whip out my phone to record. So as you can see, uh, in the video, the police officer noticed I was recording and then he turns on his flashlight and flash it into my, my camera, but I ignored him. But while we were there, I saw like a, a commotion and the police officer was running outside. So I told my friend, look, something is happening outside, so I'm going to go document. We are here and join our service 2 o'clock and the police is here to harass everybody to leave. That's a fight, that's a fight. You see the police going out there? Yeah. There's a fight somewhere there. Go to check. Yeah. Let him go, let him go. So let him go. I don't have to talk to me, I'm not your dog. I can see for myself. I don't need you to tell me what go, bullshit. Go, let's go, man. Get out of here. Why, you want to beat me up? Go. Time to go. Go somewhere else. I can stand here. No, it's time to go. Where? What? You're in the street. Go. Go somewhere else. You are in the street too. Yes, I'm doing my job. Go. I'm go doing my else. job too. Sir, you've been drinking. You're causing disturbance. Uh, no, no, leave? you are causing yes disturbance. Yes or no? Are you going to leave? Yes or no? What? Yes or no? Right. Turn around. What? Um, I noticed I didn't turn off my camera. I just brought my hand down so the camera was supposed to be recording. But later when I review it, it wasn't recording past the time that uh, I was arrested. But when I, uh, I got the evidence, I noticed that the police officer immediately turned off my camera so that it couldn't record anything past that point. But yet they claim it's okay to film the police. Exactly. But the first thing they did before you, you were not even in handcuffs, no, right? No, no. And they had already turned off. Yes, I wasn't. As soon as they grabbed my hand, the other police guy immediately went for the camera and turned it off. Relax, relax. What did I do? What did I do? Huh? 
Hayford was arrested by Officer Ross Murray. Police often claim that filming should be prohibited because it interferes with their job. Kevin interfering with them. Kevin interfering. Let's consider Hayford's arrest from multiple police perspectives. The next body camera is the perspective of the officer who is handling the man involved in a physical disturbance. I'm, I'm going to release him here after everybody takes off. Okay. But you want me to just hook him? No, don't you worry. Can, you know, yeah, you can have a couple. Please, please. Oh, what's that Dude, he's not going to jail. Okay, I'm not trying to. He's not going to jail or anything. We're just waiting until everybody clears out, and then we're gonna release him. I'm being. Okay, like I said, he's not going to jail. Okay, look, hey, he might leave it alone. You're good. Make sure, bro. Alright, you're good. Big to me. Make sure. Hey, my man, we're gonna release him in a second. Leave it alone. Go chill. Y'all go chill. Go chill. Alright. Let him go. He's lying. I saw him hop out of the fucking. He hopped out of a car here that was trying to leave. He hopped out and then he saw that dude and he fucking went and he chased him down and slugged him in the fucking face over there. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Hey, y'all want to hold on to your boy stuff? The officers appeared unbothered by Hayford and did not react until Hayford was being physically arrested just a few feet away. Kevin interfering with them. So I'm doing my job. So I'm doing my job. Officer Murray said he was doing his job. What is his job? Murray's body camera starts with, Shocker! Officers standing around talking at a different location. There is no audio because this is the 30 second pre-roll prior to the sirens being activated. Before he enters the bar parking lot, the incident is called out 10-4. No further officers needed. When he slowly walks up to the other officers, you'll see a bro handshake and his police bro confirms that everything is good. Instead of going back in service, he hangs out for the next police huddle. Uh, 204. On the most basic level, Hayford never should have been arrested because Murray should not have been there. As Hayford was walking away, Murray made physical contact with him, initiating the encounter. We good? Oh yeah. Yeah, he left with his mama. He left with his mama. Move out of the way. I don't have to talk to I'm not your dog. I can see for myself. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Go, go, just go, man. Get out of here. Oh, you want to beat me up? Go. Time to go. Go somewhere else. I can stand here. No, it's time to go. Where? Huh? You're in the street. Go. Go somewhere else. You are in the street, too. Yes, I'm doing my job. Go I'm somewhere doing my else. my job, too. Sir, you've been drinking. You're causing disturbance. Are you, you going to leave? You are causing yes or no? Or are you going to leave? Yes or no? What? Yes or no? All right. Sorry. Turn around. What? Relax. What did I do? Relax. Relax. What did I do? Relax. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What? What did I do? Dude, 
Just relax, dude. But what did I do? Huh? You're causing a disturbance. I'm talking to you. You say I'm causing a disturbance? You were causing disturbance over here? Yes, sir. How can I cause a disturbance? Open your legs up. Open your legs up. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! My legs are open. My legs are open, sir. My legs are open. Don't go in my pocket. You're you under can't... arrest, man. For what? Public intoxication. What? Dude, stay still. Stop moving, man. Stop moving. Stop. Thank you. Anything on you that's gonna hurt me, sit me, cut me, poke me. No? Yes? Get on this side. Get on this side. Alright, sir. Oh, well, dude, just relax. Which side? You just told me to get on relax. this side. I didn't tell you to get on the side. He said that. No, he didn't. He said he was, you were good on this side. Oh, just okay. Relax. All right, okay. What is your name? Hey, who, who, who's in here? Um, at 12. We're going to cut him loose. Okay. I'm gonna throw in my unit real quick. What? We'll go over here. Come on. Okay, hold on. Hold Come on. Talk to me. My stuff. He has your stuff. Just relax. Oh, thanks. Let's go over to your left. Have a seat. Watch your head. Get your knee in, man. Come on. Get your foot in. Get your foot in. Sir, you Get gotta be patient. In. You don't need to. Thank you. I'm gonna move up there. Okay. You're earning those paychecks, I'll tell you that. Are we good, bro? I'm gonna go deal with this idiot. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna get his name and whatnot. Are you out? No, we're gonna hit to clear out his wallet's on your front seat? Yeah, put it in his wallet phone and I guess my keys. Awesome. I can't couldn't hear you, man. Okay, may I have your supervisor? What for? Well, I, so I assume that you arrest me unlawfully. Okay, why are you assuming that? Because I just came out from the club and you are arresting me for public intoxication. Yes, sir. I just came out from the club. How, how, how was I public intoxicated? Okay, so in the state of Texas, yes. if you're in a public area, which you are, uh -huh. you're under the influence of intoxicant, which you are, because you you had you just told me you just admitted that no that, you said that yes I'm repeating but you just, what you said no dude, no no dude. if you're gonna start lying then I'm not even gonna bother dude okay uh, may I speak with your supervisor huh what for may I speak I may I see your supervisor what for I have to give him a reason what for because I want to speak with him what for because I believe you are you are in, in, in erroneous I can smell the alcohol off your uh, alcoholic beverage off of your breath dude sir. Uh huh. I am standing, hey, standing line. Uh -huh. in front of the place that they sell the alcohol. And? Your point is what? I have not left the premises. May I speak with your supervisor, please? What for? I need a reason to tell them. They're going to ask. I just told your reason. No, that's that not a reason. I just told you the reason is you are in erroneous. About? Whatever it is you think you are arresting me for. You know, if, if you don't have any idea, how can you assume that I'm wrong? What do you mean I'm wrong? You just said, for whatever, you have no idea. Sir, where am I? You're in a public public space. No, I am in a club. That's a public I space. I just got out of the club. That's a public and, space. No, then by, by, by your definition, everybody here must be arrested. Why? Because they are in a club. What do people do in a club? That's not what I said. That's what you said. No. You asked for, for why why you were arrested. I was starting to explain it, and yeah, then you don't listen. No, no, I am listening to you. Okay. Okay, sir. So you're in I a public place. I have asked for a supervisor. Okay. Please give me the support. Nope. Hey, Sam, do you have me in line? I'm sorry, I was dealing with someone. I mean, one subject, last name Ocean Sam Edward Ida, first name Hayford. Henry Adam Young, Fulk, Frank Ocean, Robert David, 821 to 69, 821 to 69, blackmail all around. Once you straighten these police officers, they put a red target on your back, waiting for any opportunity for you to step out of line so they can pounce on you. If you fail to worship the police, they will take you out. It's not about law and order.
It's about feelings and egos. And then he claims, if you see the video, that I was causing the disturbance, but he checked himself that that is not going to stand, so he changed his mind and said uh, it was a, a public intoxication. And I told him, well, what do you mean public intoxication? Then by that definition, everybody who is coming from the bar should be arrested. <laughs> so basically, that was the short thing. So he put me in the car, and I asked for the supervisor, but before the supervisor could come, he went there and polluted the supervisor's mind and told the supervisor that I was causing interference or interfering with what they were, whatever they were doing. And so basically, the, the police of, uh, supervisor's mind was made, right? So when I explained the situation, he told me that uh, this is something for the court to sort out. Hey, did any of the supervisors actually show up or no? Yep. Go. There's Big Bird walking up. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Cool. Perfect. He wants a supervisor, so perfect. Okay, cool. <laughs> ALT. Got a subject wants to speak to a supervisor. He's okay. a PI. Okay. Gee, he's in my yeah. He's in my unit right now. Uh, they were dealing with the fight over here. How many twelve he, got out of this whole thing? I don't know. I I think he's the only twelve. Okay. Sorry. Um, kept interfering with them. Told him, hey, just move, move. There are cars coming through. He could smell the alcohol off of his breath. He wouldn't move. Wouldn't listen. Okay. He's gonna get hurt. Hooked him up. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. All right, I'm one of the supervisors. Do you need some? You need to talk to me or nothing? But I don't know why I'm arrested. Uh, for public intoxication, sir. Yes, sir. What did I do hey, that going. constitute public intoxication? You've been drinking. You're out in public, and you're a danger to yourself and others. Sir. Yes, sir. I'm listening. I just came out of the club. Yes, sir. They were arresting the fella, mm -hmm. or whatever it is they were doing. I whip up my phone to record. Okay. And they arrest me for public intoxication. Okay. I didn't do anything. I have a First Amendment right to record what Yeah, no, we're not talking about the recording. You can record no, sir. Yes. That's why they were I was right. Well, I know, but you can record anything you want. I acknowledge sir. that. Okay. So Yes. If you wanna if you believe your officer is right, then there's nothing to say up then it's nothing to talk about. Okay. I'm just telling you. I was in the club. Yes. As I told you. Yes. I came out, this car, this uh, patrol car is there, they were arresting a fella. Mm -hmm. I came out, I was walking, and I, I started recording. Okay. Then he arrested me for public in intoxication. Okay. I didn't do anything. I was ju I just left the, I've not even left the property, I'm still on the property. Correct. How can it be public intoxication yeah. when I'm still on the property? Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So, I, okay, if he doesn't want me to record, all he has to tell me is to move away. It's not the recording's the issue. The recording's not the issue. People record all the time. So, if you think you uh, let me put it this way. Uh huh. Officers are not gods. Police no. officers are not gods. No one's god. Okay, well, I'm just telling. Look at the property. Yes, I, I... Well, by that definition, then everybody who's coming out of the property is public intoxication. I, I'm, I'm I mean, in, in, in theory, yes, you're all right. But by that definition, I just walked out, as I told you, where the car is, they were arresting somebody or whatever it is they were doing, mm -hmm. uh, because I am a citizen journalist, I repair my phone to record, whatever it was. Okay. And then he arrests me and say public intoxication. How can that be public intoxication when I just walk out? I, I'm just, I'm not even driving. I didn't even walk to any car. And this, nothing. And this is the case you need to talk to the judge. Oh, that's why it is. Right. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. It is doubtful that the officers had probable cause for the arrest. Nevertheless, still claim qualified immunity and point to the magistrate finding as a way to escape liability. However, even if there was probable cause, the Nieves exception allows officers to be held accountable for First Amendment retaliation if objective evidence demonstrates that similarly situated individuals were not arrested for the same alleged crime. Video evidence shows dozens of people present in the parking lot lane. Numerous people were criticizing the police actions while standing next to the officers, but none of the others were video recording. 
the police were excessively staffed and could have easily made additional arrests for the conduct that they claim is a crime. Okay, I'm not trying to He's not going to jail or anything. We're just waiting until everybody clears out. And then we're going to do something. I'm being, I'm being, okay, like okay, I said, he's not going to jail. Okay, look. But everybody else, I wasn't told, everybody else, the police, and everybody else was in the same area. By now, the police stands are probably typing rage comments about how I interviewed only Hayford. However, I diligently tried to get Corpus Christi PD's side of the story. Hey guys, I'm at a police department in uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. Um, working on a story. Try to always see what both sides have to say, so I'm going to try to see if the police have anything they'd like to say. There's nice in here. Sarge. Sarge, right there. Yes, sir. Howdy, I was wanting to uh, uh, see if this police media relations office was available for an interview. I think they're on the fifth floor. Does that sound right? Police media relations, that's more than likely, I think that's Lieutenant Pena, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll check. That's right, that's correct. Pena. 2798. I can call to see if they're available. Yeah, that'd be great. Not necessarily, uh, not necessarily him, just anyone. Uh, it's Justin Pulliam, and I'm with the Corruption Report. Pulliam. Pulliam. Mike Pulliam. Pulliam. Okay. With the Corruption Report. Okay. Be one minute, I'll be right back. All right, thank you. So as y'all can see, they have a, a sufficient lobby here, but the media relations has kept us outside the, faci outside the facility. Is how the media relations are going. That's how the media relations are going so far, is that we're, we're outside the facility. So, you're, you're supposed to meet with the police just in your car? You're like, hey, get in the passenger seat or something? It's crazy. This is, though, is, this, is there another police department? No, the police department. This is the police department. <laughs> and they won't meet with you. So, go out and call them. And I guess sit outside. <laughs> All right, you get a hold of anyone? Uh, yes, the ones that I got a hold of that are up there, they basically stated that you'll have to no, call me a message. Hold on, unfortunately, hold on. Nine, one, zero, zero, at window three. Okay, you'll sorry. have to call and leave a message. But they said, unfortunately, they only actually give, uh, if it's an interview that you're needing to speak with them about something, mm -hmm. they only give interviews to the actual news media. Okay, so you said they only give interviews to the actual news media. What is that? Uh, the news media. All right. That's, <laughs> that's me. Uh, what's your station? The Corruption Report. Well, what's your station? The Corruption Report. Which is based out of where? Rosenberg. I drove all the way down here from Rosenberg, near Houston. Three hours. Is it a new station? It's the Corruption Report. That's my publication. Are you with the police department or are you like a third party employee? We're the security officers that run the first and second floor of the building. I got it, but are you employed by the city or not? I'm not sure what you mean as far as actually employed by the city. No. Correct. Okay. We're then, contracting. Okay, I got it. All right, well, I appreciate you conveying the message. Um, how do I speak to an officer? Well, as I said, as far as that department, you'll have to leave a message for them to contact you back. How do I speak to someone who works for the city? Uh, you can call at any time, but I'm not sure who you actually... I no, like in person. Who you actually need to speak with for me to find out. Preferably them, and they're here. Um, I, I appreciate you conveying the message. Don't get, don't get me wrong. And, and I understand that this is an interesting position because you're not even with the city, but you're down here like the gatekeeper, right? And uh, you've been, you know, thank you for calling them. I would like to be able to speak to someone who works for the city, if that's possible. Okay, give me a moment and thank see you. if I get somebody down. I appreciate it, sir, thank you. So basically what's going on is that they contract yeah. these guys to be like, that's crazy. Like, can you believe that? I do. And, and they've given us no, I mean, to be fair, they've given us no problems. I don't think these people set up this gate, right? No. 
I think that they are contracted employees professionally so far doing a job, right? But basically the police are hiding. That's exactly what <laughs> this is going on, the hiding. I'm not media. Where have I heard that one before? How many people even watched the city's preferred media? Nevertheless, I continued to try to get the police perspective for my story. I wanted to ask some questions like whether it was a danger to yourself or others to stand near a police officer. I wanted to give the police department an opportunity to address the vile police rhetoric heard at the beginning of this video. I wanted to know what would happen to the people who filmed the Corpus Christi police. I waited for half an hour. I knew that the police administration had slipped out the back door, but I went through the motions so new viewers could see how government transparency really works. Oh, they are having some police coming. Oh, we have some police coming here for some reason. So two body cameras on. Was there anybody in particular that you wanted to speak to? Yes, uh, your name tag is missing. He got broken off earlier. What's your name? Officer Campos? Uh, you knew it. Uh, so stuff like that. 17404. Thank you, sir. So what we were trying to do was I'm um, working on a news story here. Yeah? And uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is some fun. Um, we were trying to get in touch. I, I came from Houston. I drove about okay. three hours working this way. I'm trying to get a hold of the media. Uh, relations team? So the, the public information office? Correct, correct. Because of, I'm, I'm working on a story and I'm trying to get the police department side of the story okay. and ask my question so the police department has a chance to answer. Sure. And so that's why I'm here. Uh, like have you to, been able to speak with anybody yet? Well, um, the private security, a man, okay. uh, the, I guess supervisor is very kind and he was on the phone. He may have been mm -hmm. who called y'all. Okay. Um, but not I have you're trying to you're the first police officer or city employee I've been able to talk to okay. today. Sure. So we've been uh, like here said, for other than the ones listed here, hour. Other than the ones listed here, was there anybody in particular yeah, that you want to try to contact? No, no, no. no just trying to get the cage to set up an interview or something like that? Interviews and that sort of stuff. Sure. Unless I mean, there, I don't know how y'all work it. If, Patrol does their own interviews and stuff. I don't know. Or um, that office only. So I know it usually goes through the public information mm -hmm. office first. Yeah, then that would And then depending on which, then. what exactly you're needing, like maybe it's a story that you wanted to cover over patrol officers or criminal investigation okay. division uh, or whatever division or something like that. Eduardo Tagos, whatever his name here. Uh, don't believe so, sir. Yeah. And so let me go upstairs to the public information office, see if anybody's there. Okay. Um, is there like a callback number you want me to put, or just tell them, hey, uh, how, do, how do they reach back to you if they're not here? Sure, sure, sure. I didn't put my information on there. You got a business card? I'd appreciate that. Sounds good, sir. All right, yeah, that'll work. Sure. I appreciate you coming down to the Did you have any questions or anything? Uh, no. Only for the, I think y'all are just- No, no, no I'm like, anything else like- Y'all are in, well, 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 in no. the media relations <laughs> office, are you? No, no sir. No, oh, yeah, no, that's no, one, no, one time someone got me on that, so. We'll be right back. We'll go to PIO's office, okay? All right, thanks. Have a good afternoon. All right. All right. I think even on your paper, I think I saw that it closed at four. And it's four o'clock, so they were, they were gone. But I did slip it underneath okay. the lieutenant's desk. Uh, not the desk, the door. Yes, sir. Well, there's, there was no one in the office. Not even one of the other uh, I mean, it left contacts. before four o'clock, because we've been here, how long have we been here? At least 30 minutes. Yeah. And that's all, that's all you needed, was just that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I couldn't get it here. I mean, you could have, I guess. I know different floors have different restrictions, and so with the, yeah, so with, without coming coming down for someone coming down and grabbing you on, taking you upstairs, then the way we do that. Is that those normal hours, eight to four, or how, what, that's not my normal hours? <laughs> I, know, I, know, I mean, like the, the the building or whatever. Uh, different departments, I guess they work different hours. Okay. What, what what their exact hours on different departments? Not. 100% sure. Okay. But like if but if it is going off for like the form that you have, and then the times that you put from eight to four, then I'm not guessing it's the correct time. Okay, so is there anyone else who would be able to assist me today? Um, nothing as far as like, I guess, to look up whatever information that you were looking for on okay. whatever investigation that you have. Okay. All right, and I'll have to reach out by phone. I do appreciate y'all speaking yeah, to me. No and um, 
I'll let y'all go. Yes, sir. Y'all be, be safe. You. The police refused to comment, but some viewers might still be looking for an excuse for the police conduct. Maybe it's something Hayford does wrong. Well, here's what happened the first time I filmed the Corpus Christi police on a scene. I was quietly filming from a safe distance. You go swimming, I'll back you up. Um, <coughs> we are here at the art center, parking lot. Myself and Justin Polium here pulled over. I'm not sure why we are pulled over. We have enough lights to... So, even though it's here, I am watching the, the camera. I'm watching the camera. <laughs> no, no. I am... I am watching the camera. I'm watching the camera. Oh, where to? Where to? Where to? I can't, a few feet? Who are you? Bowling? I was so far away that even while shouting, we could barely hear each other. The full video is posted on Fort Bend County Scanner. Officer Murray started writing this probable cause complaint in the parking lot while Hayford was watching. Where did you get the inside you got from? Your wallet? So you searched my wallet? You were under arrest, man. No, that's not what I asked you. You searched my wallet? Yes, it was on your person. That's what I asked you. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, there's no point. Corruption for what purpose? That doesn't make sense. Being in public after having a couple of drinks is not a crime. There are three elements to the offense of public intoxication in Texas. One, the police must establish that you are in a public place, which would include a bar or parking lot. Two, the police must establish that you are a danger to yourself or others. Three, the police must establish that you are intoxicated. That can be done by obtaining a sample testing at least 0.08 alcohol concentration or by demonstrating that the subject does not have normal use of mental or physical faculties. On the Four Corners test alone, the complaint fails to establish that Aussie was intoxicated. Furthermore, the officer made a material misrepresentation under oath in an attempt to satisfy the danger element. Lying under oath is a serious crime, Murray stated. Another subject was standing in the roadway where vehicles were passing, yelling at officers. However, yelling at the police is not a disturbance. It's a constitutionally protected activity. See Houston versus Hill the freedom of individuals verbally to oppose or challenge police action without thereby risking arrest is one of the principal characteristics by which we distinguish a free nation from a police state. Murray continued, the subject was told to move out of the roadway as parking lot was full of vehicles that were all attempting to leave the location. The subject was ordered to move by officers and became argumentative. I then told the subject to move and began to explain why he needed to move. The subject continued to be argumentative and refused to comply each and every time he was told to move. There are a lot of lies to address here. Police commonly use a tactic where they write that they told someone to do something. Then, in the same sentence of the report, they continue writing a purported reason that was not actually told to the person. It reads like the officers explained their reasoning on scene when, in fact, they did not. Go, 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 get out of here. Go, time to go. Go somewhere else. Time to go. Go, go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Are you going to leave? You're going to leave, yes or no? Next, Hayford was never told to quote, unquote, move out of the roadway. 
Murray never said the word move during the interaction, yet he used it five times in his sworn affidavit. Instead, Murray's plain language was instructing Hayford to completely leave the location, to go somewhere else, which obviously would illegally block his ability to film the police. Murray swore that Hayford refused to comply each and every time he was told to move. That's a huge lie. Hayford promptly moved after the other officer said to move, and she was the only one who said to move. Texas defense attorneys Coffer and Connolly state on their website, it's vital to remember that it's not a crime to be drunk. Sometimes people catch a PI charge for simply having a bad attitude around police officers. The lie report continued, upon contact with the subject, the odor of an alcoholic beverage was emitting from his breath person. The subject advised that he was coming from the brick bar. The subject was in a public place and was a danger to himself and others as he was in a roadway with heavy traffic at the time of heavy traffic. The subject was arrested for public intoxication as it is the belief of this officer that the subject was under the influence of an intoxicant. Wow, in a roadway with heavy traffic at the time of heavy traffic? That's an extreme mischaracterization. Only a single vehicle passed through the lane prior to the arrest, and video evidence demonstrates that Hayford was a good distance away, standing behind a police car next to officers. During the 25 minutes Murray was on location, a total of eight non-police cars passed through the lane. That averages to about one vehicle every three minutes. Heavy traffic. Equally troubling is Murray's lie that Hayford was standing in a roadway, a word used in contrast to parking lot. Roadway is a legal term. In Texas, a roadway is the portion of a publicly maintained way that is normally utilized for vehicle traffic. Hayford was located at a privately owned parking lot. He was standing hundreds of feet away from the nearest roadway. For the cops that just can't get it, this is a highway. This is a street, and this is a private parking lot. A legally sufficient complaint must state the time and place of the commission of the offense. Although the complaint states when and where the officer was dispatched, it does not state when and where the offense occurred. If someone is being accused of standing in a roadway, the precise street or highway name and block should be stated. As for intoxication, although a smell of alcohol might raise suspicion for further investigation, I think it falls short of probable cause. The officer did not conduct a field sobriety test. He failed to assert that Hayford did not have normal faculties. Finally, Murray omitted the exculpatory information that Hayford was engaged in the constitutionally protected activity of filming the police. Cops take out a target and then fabricate a crime. Nevertheless, a competent impartial magistrate would have realized that the filed complaint was deficient and released Hayford. While the police officer is wrong, what I think is bad policing is enabled by the high command. Because the supervisor was there, and when the police officer told him I was interfering, all he could have asked him, what was he doing that constitutes interference? And he could have solved that problem, but no, he took the guy's word. He was interfering, that that's good. This video is not about a bad cop. It is about the reality of government institutions in the United States. Officer Murray unlawfully told Hayford to stop filming the police. No officer corrected him. Officer Murray arrested Hayford. Officers immediately went hands-on to assist Murray. One of the officers intentionally stopped the video recording. None of the numerous officers questioned the arrest. Instead, they expressed their retaliatory animus. The on-scene supervisor, a lieutenant, approved the arrest. A different supervisor, also a lieutenant, approved the probable cause complaint. A magistrate judge, Mario Olivares approved the arrest. When Olivares is not moonlighting as a judge for the city, he is a so-called defense attorney. Yes, his website prominently advertises that he will protect your rights today. The police administration, including internal affairs, approved the arrest. 
the city prosecutor approved the arrest and filed charges against Hayford. No one in the government system protected our basic rights. No one stopped the malicious arrest and prosecution. Not only does Corpus Christi have an official policy of First Amendment retaliation, but they also have a scheme to cover up for the unlawful acts of the police. My bad experience is police at the, at the first level. <laughs> at the first level, and then when I make a complaint, the supervisors won't correct this problem. They look for all ways to justify this thing. I, I can't put my hand on, I don't know if it's my dreadlocks or if it's my skin color, but most of the time they start off rough, and when they realize that this guy maybe is not what I, uh, we think he is, then they change their attitude. When I was in custody, uh, Officer Murray was kind of rough. It almost like he was trying to do something for me to like resist so that you have an opportunity uh, to beat, beat him or beat me, so to speak. I did not respond to his provocations, yeah. so to speak. And so he was shoving me, even though I was walking, he was pushing me so that he can say I was resisting. At the jail, it appears that Officer Murray was being excessively rough, possibly an attempt to provoke a reaction that he could use to stick more severe charges on Hayford. It's a common police tactic in Texas. Step up. Over here. Okay, say so you don't have to be rough to me. Just, just stop, stop me. man. Just yeah. stop. Just stop. Enough, man. You don't have to rough me. You can have no to No one is being rough. You with have you. been fucking rough. Dude, you need to stop. Come on, man. Stop. This is ridiculous. You've been here before. Stop. If you want to shoot me, go ahead and shoot me. Stop being ridiculous, dude. Come on. Get inside. You know where to go. I don't know where to go. Sir. You've been here before. You don't, I don't know where to go. To your left on the red line by the table. Hello. I'm sorry? Yes, ma'am. Hayford represented himself in municipal court. The case was eventually dismissed after Officer Murray failed to appear in court. Perhaps the police, not the defendant, were the ones with something to hide. Even though he cleared his name, Hayford says the police still won. See how it, even though I won, I lost in the sense that I had to go spend about two hours in jail, right? And then I had to spend one hour preparation for court. I have to go to court. These are all time I could use to be doing something else uh, for myself. Now, how many people have these resources? Now, if I had to pay a lawyer, now luckily for me, I know something about the court, so I was able to defend myself. But how many people can do that? Or even if they have the, the, resource, um, the knowledge, do they have the time? They don't. So they will just pay, even though they are innocent, they will pay. So if you can avoid it, like I said, try to avoid it. But if a thug is going to arrest you, he's going to arrest you. It's not just bad cops. It's bad supervision, bad laws, bad courts, and bad government. And the people currently in power will never change the system. Freedom cannot survive the government agents who gleefully retaliate against those who criticize the police or simply record officers. Public accountability over law enforcement is a necessary pillar of a free state. For such accountability to exist, an informed public must be allowed to entertain negative viewpoints about modern policing without fear of arrest, prosecution, and brutality. It doesn't require a meticulous investigation. Merely opening your eyes will reveal the instability and corruption on America's streets 
and that it is some of the worst in the world. If we fail to create immediate and substantial change, American exceptionalism will become a distant memory. Thank you, Hayford, for defending your rights and giving me the exclusive story. This video was difficult for me to make because the violation made me so disappointed and the similarities to what happened to me in Fort Bend County. Thank you all for watching and thank you for your support during this difficult time for me. This reminds me of another video I made. Watch this one to see what happened when a veteran verbally challenged the Texas State Police.